I, I really want to quickly go back to the Walt Disney and Miyazaki comparison because I, I saw something, I think it was on Tumblr a while back, and it was comparing the character designs of recent Disney movies and um, just all of Studio Ghibli. And uh, one of the things, uh, complaints a lot of people have about uh, the most recent Disney movies is that every princess looks like Rapunzel, just like they slightly tweak the face and it's not even a different face. And, uh, you know, there's that whole like, oh, well, we want her to be pretty while still being expressive. And it's like, well, you can have multiple faces. Um, and so the criticism there is like, the character design isn't strong because they don't vary it at all. Um, especially in Frozen, I think they were like, yeah, everybody in this family has the same friggin' face. Yeah. Um, but the comparison with Ghibli was like, all of these characters are designed really uniquely, and I wanted to know what your thoughts on that were. If you think that's accurate, if you think that, what do you think about the character design in general? I, mean, I think you're going to get some similarities with the same person drawing it. Right, with the art style, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, like the style is definitely kind of... Very similar. Yes. But I do think they do have better variety in their characters. I mean, you look at, even though we don't love it as much as, like, House Moving Castle, we have Sophie. She's, like, turns into an old woman. Mm -hmm. Like, you get this very detailed kind of old woman just taking the stage, which yeah, you don't see very often. Yeah, and her as an old woman doesn't look like you, Baba, from Spirited Away. You right. wouldn't mistake them mm -hmm. as as similar. Right. Okay. There's also just a really very drastic kind of uh, difference in tone. You know, like, I mean, Disney stuff is, uh, I think, very... You know, very commercial. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very marketable. And you're going to have stuff that sort of stays within sort of the safe safe boundaries. And there's some exceptions to that, obviously. But, like, so, I mean, I think Miyazaki kind of earned his right to do whatever the hell he wanted. Right. Yeah. And, like, he always tries to tell something with his films. Like, it's not just, well, this is here for fun. It's yeah. like, well, this has a meaning to it. Like, well, we think you should pay more attention to how war affects, you know, the world and like mm -hmm. how it's really detrimental and how maybe peace is kind of a good thing surprise yeah and or how maybe we should take care better care of the, of the environment yeah or you know how women are really awesome and they mm -hmm. should have like leading roles and they should like that's like also a very big thing is that mm -hmm. Miyazaki puts women mm -hmm. at the front of his movies a lot without a lot, without yeah. a drop without. of sexualization right yeah, yeah. Like, like, that's was, just not a thing yeah <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't need to be there like you can just see really amazingly designed characters without sacrificing anything about them too so it's like really cool so I think yeah like definitely Miyazaki's character designs were fantastic and mm -hmm. definitely a step above that I, I like also that he, he does uh, his movies are all made for a different audience like they're all they're all yeah. kind of made so that anybody can appreciate them but like he's been really like unashamed of the fact that like Ponyo is for little kids mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this is this is for four year olds you know yeah, yeah like, I love it it's, it's great. so good, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Ponyo wants him yeah, that's, that's have you, uh, have you seen bad. that? There's it. like some dumb post in there where it's like Ponyo wants revolution. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one where they're doing the like the um, the Morse code stuff with the with the signal of like the little the little light, and he's just like he's just talking smack, <laughs> <laughs> just changing changing the translation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 